In this video, I'm going to show you how to create easy Looker Studio dashboards from your YouTube analytics data. We can do a lot of things with this and you can customize exactly what you need. Now, I love YouTube analytics, but I find it quite hard to get to the data I need. All the data is there, but it's not customized for me, which results in a lot of clicking around to get where I want to go. So with Looker Studio, what you need to do is create a report and in the data connectors that come up, you can connect directly to your YouTube data. So it's YouTube analytics here, find your channel. I've chosen my channel here, analytics with Adam. I'm gonna add this to the report and this comes in with about 43 different fields that you can create your dashboards from. So here's all the fields here. Very useful stuff down the end, really your likes, your shares, your comments, your views, your average watch time, all that sort of stuff. A very useful thing you can do as well is create new calculated fields based on the fields that are in there. So I'm gonna start off by uploading an image from my computer and just using this as the banner of my dashboard. When this is in place, I can then start adding date controls. This is probably the most important field in here and I'm gonna show you why. So in select date range, you can create dynamic date controls based on the last number of days, the last 14 days, the last 30 days, you can go down to this week, this month, quarter, quarter to date this year. And then I'm gonna go into team and layout and I'm gonna select this edge team. So I like the fonts from this, but I don't like the background being that gray. So I'm gonna customize this and just change my report background to white. So I'm gonna create another control field here because I want a control field for shorts. So I define shorts as anything that would be under a minute. And to do that, we need to get a slider in here. So I'm just gonna change the style of this slider to um, a drop down, and this will keep it the same size as my date control. So my video length here, I can just move this slider to below one minute for shorts. Next thing I'm gonna do is add the KPI charts. So two types of KPI charts, I'm gonna add this one, which is kind of the compressed number KPI charts. And with Google Data Studio, what if you're creating multiple, you just do all the styling in the first one at once. So I'm creating three KPI boxes here. I'm adding a border and I'm gonna add some different styles to this. So black border, move everything to the center. And then I'm gonna change my size of the text to 36 pixels. And then I want to put in my comparator. And with these charts, we can put in the comparator down below. So I'm just changing this to views. And the comparison date range is going to be a KPI, which is compared to. So the comparison date range, I'm gonna put in as previous period. So whatever select in the date box above, this will show me if I'm up and down on the previous period. So I'm 13.6% down here. And what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate out this KPI boxes because I'm having some other metrics in here. So user subscription added an average watch time. I'm gonna add a table down below to this to make it the same as the page in the one I showed you at the start. And with the table, you can just add multitude of metrics here. So what I wanna do first here is I wanna take off the row numbers and add a summary row here. So I'm adding the summary first. And then I wanna go in and I want to take off these row numbers. And then I wanna go about just putting all the metrics and dimensions I need in here. So I'm adding shares, likes, comments, and I'm just changing the names of these up above just to make it a bit more easy to view and have it all on the same page. And you can just go and select in the middle of a column and double click and that will give you a nice formatted table. So that's the first page here. What I can do here is I can just change my um, date range to the last seven days and you can supply this and you can see that everything changes here. I'm just gonna quickly go through the other graphs I've made. So this is just a gauge chart. This is just instead of a KPI box, very simple to do this, same as the KPI box. I've just changed this chart to a gauge chart here. The time series chart, I've just used a line chart in here and I put a comparison range on this as well to the last seven days. Bar chart, very simple, just the date and the user subscriptions added. And then finally for my map page, I just have two KPI boxes. I have a map in here, I've got a metric and I've got an optional metric. So the optional metric means we can change this to user subscriptions removed, that was user subscriptions added. And the key here is to just change the style on the map 
and in the style of the map you choose what your low value is what your high value is so this is my max value here I've got a mid value and I've got a low value here so that was it just a quick video on YouTube analytics hope you found it useful subscribe to the channel for more Looker Data Studio videos